And joining me now is Bryce Pierce, one of the newest Flames coming in this fall. Bryce, thanks for sitting down with us. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Bryce, let's go ahead and get into it and talk a little bit about uh, hearing about Liberty. Obviously, you have some family ties, but um, what was it about Liberty that ultimately sold you in wanting to come play here instead of maybe playing somewhere close to Tennessee? Yeah, I mean, Liberty, obviously, just the really the faith aspect of it and seeing it change my brother's life. I mean, just being able to play in front of that many fans and everybody kind of sharing the same beliefs on one big campus is really huge. And I think it's just kind of life changing for most junior hockey players that, I mean, that lifestyle is a little different compared to, you know, most lifestyles you're put in front of a bunch of different things and coming to Liberty kind of helps you get back on track and strengthen your faith a little more, which is huge. And obviously we, everyone who has seen Devin play over the last couple of years know him as a speedster. But actually, when you were down here, you actually beat him in a skill contest. So you're going to be the faster Pierce coming in. So talk a little bit about your playing style now, Lewis. Obviously, uh, speed is a big element of your game. Yeah, it must be like – must be genetics, the speed. But we did um, – I was up there last summer. and We did kind of like a time trial. I think it was goal line to far blue line. And we did that, and I beat him by – might have been it was only about like 0.2 seconds but which is kind of huge when you're doing that short of a distance but I mean obviously Devin's like an amazing player but I think we both kind of share similar play style I mean speed is obviously huge I mean and that's speed kills in hockey which really helps you just kind of separate yourself from others but yeah I mean really pretty similar gameplay to Devin you might see from me and talk a little bit about, obviously, your class is coming in in a bit of a transition, kind of similar to the senior class that already left. The only difference is you got, they're com- you're coming in with a team that was number two in the country. And now talk a little bit about, like, obviously just the expectation of coming in with the new guys, but uh, have you had a chance to even talk with some of your fellow uh, guys that are coming in this upcoming season? Yeah, we've actually uh... – had a chance to talk and it's really nice to see them through the WebEx meetings we've been doing. And obviously I've kind of looked into like the kids that have been signed and I really think it's going to be a strong group of kids coming in. And I mean, a lot of kids that led their teams, a lot of leadership for their junior hockey careers. And I really think that next year for us, is going to be same thing. I think we're going to be just pushing for that number one spot in the division and going to nationals so and obviously with uh everything happening around covid it's been a little bit harder to get your training going and also getting that ice time so talk a little bit about what you've been able to do to prepare trying to get ready for the fall yeah haven't the ice rinks been closed i haven't been able to ice skate but me and devin actually have started picking up roller hockey so we're going to be doing that this summer which kind of helps you just stay involved with hockey and obviously we got I had a, my old advisor who's given me workouts and stuff, a lot of speed and agility workouts. So that really helps me just keep, just kind of keep active and keep my footwork going and that speed. But really just looking forward to the ice rinks opening back up because obviously staying on the ice is huge. And obviously let's now go into uh, coming in. You've been able to come down to Liberty for a few games and you've seen the electric atmosphere that comes, but also, you've seen uh, some pretty competitive collegiate hockey. So talk a little bit about uh, what's one of the aspects you're looking forward to next season. Yeah, obviously playing in front of that many that many fans at Liberty is going to be just awesome. But I know it's a lot of people don't think of Acha D1 as competitive as it really is. I mean, you watch teams like Adrian and that game, it's really like – it's just how competitive it is. It's really just a big deal. And – I just, I don't know. It's just I'm really looking forward to being able to play in front of a lot of, a lot of fans that love the game and also that competitive, competitive aspect that we had in junior hockey. Just staying with that because a lot of, a lot of people don't realize that aspect is carried on to Acha D1. And now we're going to do a little bit of a lightning round. So trying to get into know you, I'm going to hit you with a couple questions and then you're just going to give me some quick responses real fast. So yeah. kind of give the folks a chance to know you. 
but obviously coming from Tennessee, what's your favorite team in the NHL? NHL, the Nashville Predators been a oh, yeah, it's... Man since I was little. You got to stick with them. And uh, talk a little about who's your favorite player. In favorite the... player might be kind of a kind of a bandwagon, but Connor McDavid. I just love the speed. And Connor McDavid or Nathan McKinnon. That that speed aspect is just fun to watch. Those are two good ones to put up there. So nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, if you were modeling your game, who would you say in the NHL you've been trying to model your game after? Obviously not as good as him, but I like I like to try to play like Connor McDavid. I mean, he's obviously got the hands to match the speed, but that speed aspect is just just a huge part of my game. But if I could get some hands like him, then that'd be that'd be pretty helpful. And uh, favorite place to eat on the road. Oh, we do a lot of a lot of Italian um, on the road. That's hard. I mean, I I think I kind of like uh, we stop at we used to stop at IHOP a lot in the mornings on road trips. So I'll give IHOP one up there. If you could uh, play one sport other than hockey, what would it be? Uh, I'd say I'd play soccer. I played soccer growing up. Uh, I actually. Hadn't played a lick of soccer in my entire life, and all my buddies were playing travel, and I kind of just hopped out for a tryout there and made made the team with them, and it was really fun. And I like the, I just like the way that the game is played, and it's just kind of similar to hockey, I believe, and but just the where the speed aspect is huge. I just you gotta love speed, man. Oh yeah, as you said, speed skills. 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 Yeah. Well, Bryce, thanks for sitting down with us and uh, giving us a chance to get to know you. And uh, we can't wait to see you this upcoming fall. Yeah, I can't wait.